We're out here in Mesquite, hopefully for the last time. We're doing the final cleaning, final checkup on the last little bits of work that needed to get done, make sure they got done. Cleaning lady's got the keys. Hey, what's going on? How's it look? Get in there. I don't think I've ever been in this bathroom. Bathroom's good. So final walkthrough time. We told the uh, we sold this house off market. So I sold it off. Actually, a realtor friend of mine. Damn, that glass looks good. I've been in this bathroom before. I know I've been in this one. Anyway, a realtor friend of mine had a client that was looking at the area. So he called us up and said, "Hey, what do you want for that house?" So I said, well, we want this much for the house. It's fixing at the market like next week. And he says, well, let me see it. So he comes in, sees it, and his clients put in a full price offer. So we actually have zero days on the market, never even hit the MLS, which is pretty cool. This, so this bathroom, actually, this is one thing we splurged a little bit on. This one had this uh, wall that came out to here for like a kind of crappy little linen closet or whatever. So we opened that up, pushed it back, and then the shower was actually on the inside of this wall. So we moved the hot and cold over here and then we centered the drain right in the middle. Really opened it up, which is really nice for the space. Anyway, really nice for the space. Um, turned out well. A lot of the houses here kind of keep it closed in, a little bit cheaper. Probably costs an extra like thousand bucks, 1500 bucks, but I love, the, I love the way it turned out. And then of course, keep saying this over and over again, we don't get creative with our product selection. That's the same shower surround we have in all the flips we have going right now. That's the same pebble floor we have. It's the same gray wood look tile that we have in pretty much all of our flips. So, oh uh, yeah, stuff. All right, that's working. Anyway, so we're trying to, we're trying to reinvent the wheel. I keep saying we're trying to reinvent the wheel. We just try to make the wheel roll just a little bit better each time. Damn, this looks good. Little stuff, like little stuff, don't skimp out on your flips. Put a little quarter round on your base trim, on the, the uh, you know, put a little quarter round down here. Really finishes it off nice. You can just butt up the floor next to the bricks, but it kind of looks like shed. I told the agent, this is, this is part of like keeping your word when you're doing this business, right? Is the agent actually sold the house three doors down. We're friends on Facebook. He knew that we were working on this house because we're posting about it and stuff. So he calls me up. They come over here, they take a look at it, they put in an offer. I tell them like, one of our first conversations, like, hey, we'll, uh, you know, we'll dust it and everything like right before closing. We'll clean it up, get the cleaning lady in here, get it all cleaned up right before closing. Because, you know, we'd have to do that if we we're gonna stick it on the market anyway. He says, hey, I really appreciate that. And I don't even think it was in one of the amendments. I don't think it was in one of the like repair request things. But hey, we're closing today. Cleaning lady's in here today because one of our first conversations was, yeah, we'll, we'll clean it. We don't want them to move into a dirty house. They're doing the final walkthrough yesterday and they call us up and say, hey, the condenser's not working. Our brand new freaking condenser that walked off, remember a couple weeks ago, so I put the new one in here. Supposed to close the day. Again, about what, having a relationship with people and about having your kind of word be important in this business. We tell the buyer's agent, you know what, AC guy, come out tomorrow, take a look at it, see what's going on. And that's it, they didn't ask for anything. They didn't ask for an extension, didn't ask for us to do a holdback. They just trust that we're gonna come out and get it fixed. We came out, we got it fixed, this thing is worn. Come on over and we'll feel it. It's definitely working well. So anyway, if you say you're gonna do something, just do it, just do it, it's not that hard. Just, just do your shit. So the last little thing that we had done was put in a new meter box. It wasn't actually anything wrong that much with the other one, but the old one didn't have a master breaker. So the buyers asked that we put one in with a master breaker. And instead of like putting a tacky 
like a big old breaker above that or something like that. We just swapped out the box real quick. We got that done yesterday. And then the drywall guy's coming out this afternoon to put a new piece of drywall up there. So we definitely, shoot dude, we spent probably, I gotta look at the final numbers. We spent probably 52-ish on this house. We spent some money out here, but turned out really well. Everyone's happy. Hopefully everyone's happy. They seem happy. I'm happy. And so the kitchen, remember this, we opened up this wall. It was closed in here, out to about here. Uh, there was a wall, filled wall separating the family room from the game room going across here. And then a kind of entryway. So we opened up all that stuff, made it look, you know, a lot more usable space, like better for entertaining, better for like repairing and really like functional space. So I love that. And obviously got our 3, three CM, nice thick granite. Going in. We got our disposal switch. I love these guys. These things are so fun. Watch. That's like 50 bucks. This thing's expensive. Plus you gotta pay to put the hole in it. But it's so cool. That way you're not like putting a like switch on the front or something like that. I love stuff like that. It's just, the best part of this game is actually, actually still fun. So I don't know. That's it. That's our final walkthrough. Getting zero days on market. Bought it for a good price, sold it for a good price. Put a lot into it, but we got a lot done. This is one of my probably favorite transitions we've done like start to finish in the past maybe a year, just because it's such a drastic change and turned out great. Love it, I, I love the fucking LED lights. Just kind of went all out. These are nicer fans than what I have in my house. So we have them in our office. We need to upgrade the fans in my house. Next thing you know, my wife is gonna come by. I need new fans in the house. Oh, shit. Uh, what else? This is one I like. So we kind of touched on this. I love putting in the Nest thermostats. It's not like I show many houses, but I've seen buyers like their eyes just light up. Like, oh my God, it's got a Nest thermostat. I thought it was a gimmicky little tacky thing, just like toss it in there, whatever. And uh, buyers are like, oh, it's got a Nest. I love that house. But that other house didn't have a Nest. These are things that buyers legitimately, like they legitimately think about. And I don't know if it makes a determining factor for them, but they, you know, they stack it in there and they, they like them. So don't be cheap. Like don't be cheap on the final touches if you're trying to hit top of the market. If we listed this on the MLS, let's go outside, it's quieter. If we listed this house on the MLS, so I told you, right, we, we offered, uh, yeah, like four houses down. Um, agent came by and that's how we got it sold. If we'd stuck it on the MLS, we maybe would have got an extra three or $4,000, maybe. But then we'd be waiting for like just more stuff. They came in and they just got it done quick. So they got it done quick because of the quality of working because of what we had. So when we're putting stuff out there, we're trying to price it competitively, trying to move it. If we can get a bid up a little bit, that's awesome. If you know, we price it right anyway, then if we miss and we're a little bit too high, we're still gonna get a ton of views. It's not very often that we're too high. And we just, we like moving product. Yeah, Sarah said a couple days ago, some agent was asking about pricing. And she says, wow, that sounds like a really good price. It was a house that we were, we're kind of wholetailing dash flipping it. So it's like right in the middle where we're not going full on flip, but we're not like just dusting it off. And the agent said, wow, that seems like a really good price. And Sarah's like, yeah, we're in the business of moving product here. We're in the business of like turning over deals. We do what it takes to turn them over. This is a great house for talking about relationships. Everyone knows in real estate, everyone says like your net worth is your network or your network is your net worth or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't, I'm not big on catchphrases, except for REIAF. And uh, you should probably definitely smash the like button down below for more quality content like this. But no, seriously though, this is a great house for relationships. We bought this from a guy that we're really good friends with that moves a lot of stuff in DFW. So he wholesales some, he flips some. He didn't feel like flipping this himself. So we bought it from him. No marketing cost, right? I called him up, uh, said, hey, I saw you mentioned this house. What's going on with it? He says, oh, actually, this is how good the relationship was. He says, you know, Tim, we haven't even locked it up under contract yet. We weren't even supposed to mention that we might have one of that area coming up. So I'll call you when we get it. He literally calls me back later that day and says, all right, Tim, I got it. You want to see it? I said, yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess so. What time? So come out here at eight o'clock the next day. I walked through it for five minutes. He was asking a good, he was asking a fair price. It's not like a screaming deal, but it's a very fair price. So walked through, it took me five minutes. I said, how much do you want for it? Again, and he says, I want this much for it. I said, all right, that's fine, let's do it. And uh, I said, when do you want to close? He says, you know, whatever it is, 10 days or something like that. I said, no, no problem, we'll close in 10 days. So relationship number one, 
Relationship number two, use the same contractor, dude. We've been using this guy for years. He's, uh, I think I've known him for six and a half years. He doesn't do all of our work, but he does a lot of it. So he came in here, he knocked it out. Relationship two. Relationship three, buddy of mine, fellow flipper, four or five doors down, flipping that house over there. He sees me post about this one. He's like, and it looks like my house in Mesquite on the street, right? So he says, you know, what street's your house on? I tell him, it's like, oh shit, that's the same street as us. So anyway, so the realtor that lists his house, also friends of mine on Facebook, is the buyer's agent for the buyers that end up buying this house. So relationship number one, two, three, four, like four or five or something on this house. So you think, like you think a city, what, seven million, how many people in Dallas? Like DFW, Tommy? Like seven, eight million people? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of people out here. You're never gonna bump into each other, right? That's completely wrong. So that's why it's so important in a market, even the size of Dallas, the size of DFW, when you're dealing with, you know, houses that are median home price kind of houses, you're gonna bump into the same people over and over and over again. They're gonna know who you are, you're gonna know who they are. So if you say you're gonna do something, you say, hey, we're gonna clean it before closing, even if it's not on the repair amendment. Um, if you said you're going to do it, unless you backtrack, unless you renegotiate out of it ahead of time, you say you're going to do it, you're going to do it. You say, hey, I'm going to put in a new condenser because the condenser walked out. You know, don't cheap out and get like a used condenser. Put in a new condenser. It's kind of the mottos that we try to live by. So that being said, it's fun when it goes well. Shitty when it doesn't go well, but we try to have it go well because we try to buy right. We try to do it right from the get-go. So that's, that's pretty much it. What are your big ticket items in real estate, right? You got plumbing, you got in Texas, you got foundation, you got roof, and you got HVAC. So guess what we did on this house? We did six grand in foundation. We did a brand new roof. Our condenser walked off. The heater inside, we were able to use that, but our condenser freaking walked off. Even though it was working, perfectly good condenser, so that cost us plumbing, HVAC. Plumbing, uh, we didn't do a whole lot of plumbing, so we missed out on one. But, and we rebuilt the meter box. So we didn't rewire the house, but we put in all new outlets and we rebuilt the meter box. So we touched every single major system in this house, with the exception of like rough plumbing. As, you know, it's one thing that you buy a house that's old and it's gonna have problems. So you can't buy one of these guys and expect them to not have problems. The more homework you're able to do on the front end, the more you can kind of hedge against those problems and the cheaper you buy it, the more you can put into fixing these problems. You're not scrambling. So it's a good looking roof though, I like the roof. I never do roofs in San Diego, but in Texas we do roofs probably on half of our houses. They get beat up out here, shit. So if you like this kind of content, like, comment, share it on Facebook, put it in all those groups, smash that like button, destroy the like button, subscribe so you can get more quality content. You can see some reality flipping, not reality TV flipping, because we don't trip out about the small stuff. We don't make big things into bigger things. We don't make small things into big things for likes and drama. We give you a realistic view of what it's like to make money kicking ass in real estate in DFW. So watch more videos. Go, there's a whole bunch right down there. Go watch more of them. What are you guys doing? All right, bye.